Saturday people, how are you doing? And welcome back to another episode of Addicts Editions. It's been a while since I've uploaded an episode of this series. As a matter of fact, since the last episode, we've signed seven players. I'm sorry about that, bruv. Yeah, sorry about that. But today, we're going to be talking about our latest signings. We got two in the door yesterday. We're going to be talking about a player that most recently has left the club on loan. And we're also going to be discussing some rumoured transfer targets that the club have got ahead of the Friday 5pm deadline. So as the saying goes, it was two for Tuesdays yesterday as Charlton completed a double signing. Two defenders from the Premier League have completed their move to the Valley. Crystal Palace centre-back Ryan Innes and Chelsea left-back Ian Martson have both come over to SC7. Innes, the 25-year-old six foot five at centre-back, completes a permanent move to Charlton on a two-year contract with the option of a further 12 months. And Martson comes in on a season-long loan from Chelsea, finally sorting out Charlton's defence. Our defence is finally sorted. It was a priority in this transfer window. We had to sort out the back line because it was, let's face it, shot to bits and very weak coming into the season. Now, I think it's all sorted and we can focus on other areas of the pitch. And I think we've got two very good players here. So as ever, we're going to have a look and see what the players have to say about the move. Starting off with Ryan Innes, who has completed a permanent move over from Crystal Palace. So let's see what he has to say. Ryan, welcome to the Valley. Welcome to Charlton. How does that feel? Perfect. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm glad to get it over the line and obviously I was able to train today. So I'm super excited for the challenge ahead. Trained this morning. You've met some of your new teammates. Uh, a good group so far, you settled in in your first day? Yeah, that's it. Obviously, um, got myself straight out of there. Obviously, the intensity is great and the boys work hard, which is, which is something that I can bring also. That's what my game's about. So, yeah, fitted in and I'll get to know the boys better and, and how the staff work. But, yeah, it's been brilliant so far. It's a permanent move for me, so I'm hoping you know, I can find myself a home and, and be a part of the project here because it's, it's definitely going to be a big one. So, it's exciting. I spent a lot of time at Palace. You know, I can't thank them enough. They start with me on and off the pitch through different challenges I've had in my life and I've definitely um, made great strides with their help. But now, you know, I feel like I can go out on my own and obviously with the help of Charlton, try and kick right on. What are the um, the key attributes that you'll be bringing to Lee Bowyer's side for fans that may not have seen you play before? Um, I'm wholehearted. I like to give everything I've got. I won't leave anything out there on the pitch. Um, I feel like I'm a good leader. I've still got a lot to learn in terms of the playing side of things. I've had a lot of loans, some cut short. So, you know, at my age, I feel like I've got in my position, I've got a lot more years in me. And with the players we've got here, the likes of PSC, Deji, many, many more. Obviously, I can I can pick up things from those boys as well and, and crack on. Obviously, the challenge uh, for Lee Bowyer's side is to win promotion this year, to challenge at the top of this division. That must be something you're looking forward to, a challenge that you're looking to, to thrive on. Absolutely. You know, we, we spoke at great length before I come and it's, even before, because I'm local, we all got you know friends that are Charlton fans, and always you know keep up to date with Charlton because it's, it's South London. It's something I thought straight away that Charlton are definitely going to want to go back up. The squad that the club are building, um, we're going to have great depth in different positions all over the park. So even today, a few new faces in, including myself, and uh, no one was shying away from from working hard. So hopefully we can drag each other along and get this club back on the way where it needs to be. And now moving on to Ian Martson, the 18-year-old Dutch left-back who's completed a season-long loan move over from Chelsea. Let's read the club's statement. Charles and Vettig are delighted to complete the signing of exciting left-back Ian Martson on a season-long loan from Chelsea. Martson follows in the footsteps of Jada Silva and Conor Gallagher, who both had very successful loan spells with the Addicts in recent seasons. The 18-year-old Dutch youth international is well thought of at Chelsea following his arrival at the club from PSV Eindhoven in 2018. Lee Boyer has been looking to add an attacking left-back that fits the club's strategy and was pleased to complete the signing of Martson. He said, he's a very exciting left-back. He's ambitious with the ball, very good in possession. He has great energy, great pace. I would say he's quite similar to Jada Silva, the way he travels with the ball and goes past people. He's exciting and different to what we have. The youngster is set for his first taste of senior adult football and trained with his new teammates for the first time this morning. He said, I'm buzzing to get started. I will learn from the boys. I think I will do well here. I will work hard and 
try to show my best. Martson becomes, it should say, the second signing of the day, following the arrival of Ryan Innes and the seventh signing of the Thomas Sangard era. The Charlton owner said, we want to bring in the right players that match with the way we want to play and Ian Martson is a player of very high pedigree. He's highly thought of at Chelsea and has played for Holland's youth team, so I'm looking forward to seeing him at the Valley. And now on to my thoughts of the signing, starting off with Innes. Now, with the introduction of Innes, he becomes the fifth centre-back at the club right now, alongside Jason Pearce, Dedra Shalaja, Akin Famuo and Charlie Barker. I felt that we needed to bring in another centre-back because our, let's face it, a centre-back partnership is weak and our defensive line was very poor and Boya felt the same way so obviously we have now brought in Innes on a permanent deal which is interesting he never played for Palace in the league he had two appearances for them in the league cup and he's had countless amount of loan spells since he's been at the club he's been out on loan to Cheltenham I think Gillingham, Yeovil, Luton, Dundee last season was at Newport He's been all over the place, but Newport County fans were actually quick to tell me that he was very good for them last season. 29 appearances and got the one goal. So he seems to be pretty good for them last season. Of course, playing in League 2. Now he's stepping up to League 1. But I think Innes is going to be a really good player for us. I mean, he's an absolute monster. He's six foot five. Innes looks so intimidating. He really looks like he could just two-foot someone, snap him in half. But I think he could be one of them no-nonsense centre-backs. Like one of them ones that like, just goes, like, goes straight into the tackle and goes aggressive. And I'm looking forward to seeing Innes play, man. As I say, he looks like a unit, built like a brick shit house, and I think he's going to be a pretty decent player for us. And then going on to Martson. Now, of course, Martson becomes the second left back at the club. Purrington is the other option, and we needed that competition with Purrington. And we've brought in, in my opinion, an absolute gem. Of course, Martson, again, has never played a competitive league game for Chelsea either, like Innes um, for Palace. But honestly, Martson... The kid is going to be something special, of course. The Dutchman, 18 years of age, still very, very young and an attacking fullback, which is something that we need. It's a good thing to have attacking fullbacks. And obviously, we've had that in the past. Adam Matthews last season, Jada Silva, who, of course, was a Chelsea youngster when he came to us on loan. And again, he came to us as an unknown identity and we turned him into the player that he is now. De Silva, of course, won player of the year in 2017-18. And Martson could well be on the same level, if not better than the silver. Chelsea fans rate him very highly. They're saying, I hope he gets minutes. He really will be good for you. So, of course, that's very positive to hear. He's an attacking fullback, a lot of pace to him. And as I say, it is what we need, of course. As you all know, not the biggest fan of Purrington, so I do hope that Martson takes his spot in the team. I think he could be up there as one of the best youngsters in the league this season. So there are the two latest signings that have come to Charlton, but whilst we're at it, let's talk about the other rumours and deals that have gone through in Charlton. Now, last week, or earlier this week, I can't remember, it was confirmed that central midfielder Ben Dempsey has gone out on loan to Woking. I think this was the right decision. He's gone to Woking. He's re-signed for Woking, actually. He's been there previously. I don't actually know what league Woking are in. They're either in the National League South or the National League. I'll be honest here. Out of all of the young players that we've got in our books at the moment that are Charlton players, Dempsey's the one that I rate the least. For some reason, I just don't... I don't know. I just don't really rate him that highly. And I think that... He's had a lot of loan spells in the past to non-league. I think he was at Dulwich Hamlet last season for a period. And I think that a loan spell is needed for him. And I think that him going to Woking until January 9th is good for him. I can't help but feel that maybe his time at Charlton is coming to an end. I just don't think he's going to get in this squad anytime soon. And in more than likely, you'll see him either get released or we sell him somewhere. Because I think that would probably do him good if he was to move away from Charlton on a permanent basis. Now, with the two additions of Ryan Innes and Ian Martson, we have officially signed 10 players in the summer. The domestic transfer window closes at 5pm on Friday and we need to bring in at least two more players. In my opinion, a striker and a midfielder is what's required. Now, there have been some names that have been floating about the place that Charlton have been linked with. Starting off in the midfield area, the one that's been spoke about the most in recent weeks is Robbie Gotts. Now, he is a 20-year-old midfielder who plies his trade at Leeds United. What I like about Gotts is that he's a midfielder, but he can also play right back, which gives us cover in the right back position. We've only got one out and out right back, that being Chris Gunter. So Gotts will be able to cover for him if needs be. And also will give us some much needed depth in the midfield area because our midfield 
in recent years has been shot to bits with injuries. The other midfielder that we've been linked with or a name that I've seen flying about the place is Liverpool's Ben Woodburn. Now, of course, Woodburn was on loan in League One last season with the player finalist Oxford United. However, he didn't feature all that many times. He made 16 appearances in all competitions, getting just the one goal and two assists. I don't know if he was injured during that period, but yeah, he did not play as much as I thought he would. I've only seen that we've been interested in him from the Sun journalist Alan Nixon, but who I don't really trust because 99.5% of the time he's wrong, which is the reason why I've actually blocked him on Twitter. I just don't trust the geezer at all, but that's who it's come from. We've apparently been interested in Woodburn. I don't know how strong the rumor is. I've just heard that we've been linked with him. I would consider Gotts, Robbie Gotts, to be the most likely midfielder to join us. And to be honest, I'd actually take him due to his versatility. Woodburn, I'd say, is more of an attacking midfielder, and we've already got three of those, Oztuma, Williams, and Madison. Madison, of course, can also play out on the wing. So I don't think we should really be looking to get Woodburn. I think we need a more central player rather than attacking, and I think that Gotts can provide that. Now, as for the striker, once again, we are linked with two players on loan. The first name that we've been linked with is Paul Smythe. Now, of course, he is currently playing at Queen's Park Rangers, and Mark Warburton is reportedly letting him go out on loan. We were actually linked with Smythe in 2018-19, but the deal fell through for us to sign him on loan, and he ended up going to Accrington Stanley. Last season, he went to Wickham Wanderers, who of course were promoted to the championship, but he only managed the one goal in 20-plus appearances. So that's, that is definitely... Not something you want to hear, especially when we're after a goal scorer in this squad. No, he's 23, he's still young, but I mean, he was playing in this division last season and got the one goal for a side who went on to get promoted and had a glamorous season. So it's not something you want to be hearing, and I don't know about Smythe, to be totally honest. You know, if Bowyer can get the best out of him, then he could do wonders for us potentially. However, I don't see him scoring more than 10 goals for us this season if we are to sign him. And that's what we need. We need our strikers to be bagging goals. And I think the only player that I can actually see scoring goals for us is Washington, who is our top scorer right now. Now, the other striker that we've been linked with, and once again, this is a name that's been mentioned by Alan Nixon. Um, I wouldn't 100% trust it because, as I say, he's wrong for half the time. He's wrong pretty much all the time. But the player in question that he has mentioned is Timmy Abraham. Now, he is a striker that plays for Fulham. He is 19 years old, and as you may work out, he is the brother of Tammy Abraham, the Chelsea striker. Now, Timmy, again, vastly inexperienced when it comes to him playing professional football. He has never played a competitive league fixture for Fulham, and last season went out on loan to League One to Bristol Rovers, but he played just four games and scored no goals. Now, obviously, we can't really judge him based off that because, of course, his season was cut short due to the COVID-19 outbreak, and League One was postponed, so he was sent back to Fulham. So, Abraham is an unknown identity. So, again, it's a gamble for us to bring him in, but... We need, in my opinion, youth in this squad. And we are, in my opinion, in need of a young striker. If I was to pick between Smythe and Abraham, I'd actually go for Abraham. I'd go for Timmy to come in on loan. Again, as I say, the the likeliness of this going through isn't very strong, as it was reported by Alan Nixon. He's six foot one, so he's got some height to him, so he could be good in the air. Uh, again, I've not seen all too much of him, but to be honest, I'd rather have him come in than Smythe. What do you guys think in the comments below? Midfielder, should we sign Robbie Gotts or Ben Woodburn? And striker, should we sign Paul Smythe or Timmy Abraham? Let me know in the comments below. I'd go with Gotts and Abraham, personally. I think Gotts... Obviously, as I say, versatile plays right, right midfield and right back will be good and will provide the cover that we need. And then, of course, Abraham, unknown identity, but we could turn him into something special and Charlton are renowned for doing that. So that is it for this episode of Addicts Edition. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, can you possibly leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here and turn on those post notifications. We are so close to 2,600 subscribers. If we get to that, that'd be absolutely awesome. Welcome to Charlton Athletic, Ryan Innes and Ian Martson. What do you guys think about those two signings? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think about Ben Dempsey heading out on loan to Woking? What do you think of his future at the club? It is his time up at Charlton. Let me know in the comments below. And Get your thoughts in the comments below about our transfer targets, about, about the transfer rumours of Robbie Gotts, Ben Woodburn, Timmy Abraham and Paul Smythe. Which of those four would you like to see come to the club before the Friday deadline? It's going to be an interesting end to the transfer window. It's going to be tight. We need two more players in, a midfielder and a striker, and then we can start to kick on. I'm looking forward to the rest of this season now. The squad is coming together. We're finally getting the finished product together, and it's going to be a good ride. 
This has been Tyler Rollinson. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all on Saturday for our match against Wigan Athletic. Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you all later.